Hello and welcome to RC Birds and thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'll do new rims, metal axle housings, and I change the dampers from this point to this point and this point to this point. For those of you who had seen uh, my video of the last week where I finished this body and uh, seeing now the car is uh, dismantled as last week, I did this video in between because I have a great access to the chassis so I can do the work I want to. Okay, this is an annoying job. I have to remove all these screws, all these screws, and then connect or build up the new rooms. But uh, for the dismantling, I turn off the camera, and uh, I don't think uh, this will be interesting seeing me, even if it's in time lapse, unscrewing the beetle rims. So here we are, I use my tires, my foams and the brass rings which I had used on the car before. And now it's time to do the new rims. The big advantage of these rims is there are no holes in the front and only six screws in the back which should improve the maintenance time or changing tires or something else really a lot. So it's time to move on with the build. So now I have a little problem. These rings the brass one I got on the car, which is more heavy than this one. This comes along with the new rims. They don't have the same diameter. And as you can see here, these are the new beadlocks which fit perfect and because of the small diameter this won't work on my brass rings. So I have to make a decision, use this one and be happy with the new rims or use this one and uh, use the old rims where a mistake was in and have more weight. I think I want the new ones. Yes, I'm gonna testing the new rims.
OK. These new tires and rims look great. Although, in camera, although I missed this heavy ring, but I can use it for another project. The red tires I do off camera because it's only five screws for every tire, and I think this will be boring. So for now, the tires are done. And now it's time to change the axles or the axle housings. And for this, I try to remove less screws as I can do. So here's the thing, this axle housing is manufactured not so good. No matter what I tried, I don't uh, keep the axles in or the bearings. So I put on, on the front part of the car, excuse me, on the front part of the car, the old plastic axle housing, which is a little bit uh, lighter but uh, for sure it works. So only the rear axle will be changed, which is an improvement. And uh, I did this because this plastic axles, plastic axle is uh, bended towards the front and uh, that I had eliminated. That's great. So 
So now I put on the front axle old plastic part again. A quick resume. What I have done is changing the rear axle. So the bending thing is away. I rearranged the shocks and I have new tires that in the front still is a plastic axle. I have to accept for now, but I have my brass diff cover on here and uh, servo and uh, this uh, breath brush, these brass linkages. So there will be enough weight for my goals. So this is everything for the moment. Please like and subscribe. If you got some questions, please write it down in the comments. See you soon on Aussie Birds.